Renowned screenwriter David Seidler, celebrated for his Oscar-winning work on The King's Speech, passed away at the age of 86 while pursuing his beloved hobby of fly fishing in New Zealand. His demise was confirmed by his longtime manager, Jeff Agassi, who shared that Seidler was doing what he cherished most when he breathed his last. A London native, Seidler, who battled a stammer during his youth, found inspiration in the true narrative of King George V.I.'s triumph over his speech impediment with the aid of a speech therapist. This personal connection fueled Seidler's passion for bringing the story to life on the screen. His dedication bore fruit when he clinched both an Oscar and a BAFTA for Best Original Screenplay in 2010 for The King's Speech. Under the direction of Tom Hooper, the film featured Colin Firth in the lead role, who earned widespread acclaim, including accolades such as the Best Actor BAFTA and Oscar. Seidler's creative journey extended beyond the silver screen, he also spearheaded the stage adaptation of the film, which premiered in London's West End in 2012. While preparations were underway to take the production to Broadway, the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 halted these plans prematurely. Beyond his notable contributions to the King's Speech, Seidler's artistic legacy encompassed a diverse array of projects, spanning from animated children's musicals like The King and I to Quest for Camelot and Madeleine, Lost in Paris. In addition to leaving behind a rich tapestry of cinematic achievements, Seidler is survived by his adult children, Mark and Maya. His passing marks the end of a prolific career that not only entertained audiences worldwide, but also left an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema.